Here in the Mojave Desert, water is everything, and you don't have to look far to see how it's drying up. Everywhere you see right here, all of this beach, this used to be underwater less than 20 years ago. It was the bottom of Lake Mead, and that white ribbon you can see on the hills over there behind me, that's the old water line, but the water levels here in Lake Mead have fallen 130 feet just since the year 2000, and now falling below the critical threshold of 1,075 feet, triggering today the first ever federal water shortage declaration for the Colorado River Basin and the 40 million people who rely on that water. They're going to see cuts to their water supply starting at the beginning of next year. I spoke to the head of the Southern Nevada Water Authority who said they've been planning on this, but it's still going to mean some difficult choices. We've done great here for the last 20 years. We're going to have to continue to drive down our per capita water usage for the next several decades. And they also need to know that the pie is shrinking. We have 40 million Americans, seven states, and two countries that rely upon this river, and there's going to be less water for everyone in the 21st century. This first round of water cuts is mostly going to affect agriculture and farming, and Arizona is set to take the biggest hit, losing about 8% of their total water supply when these Colorado River cuts take effect at the beginning of next year. But in the years to come, if this drought gets worse, as scientists predict it will, we could see Tier 2 and even Tier 3 cuts. That could mean water supply cuts to residences and cities like Tucson, Phoenix, and Las Vegas.